welcome you all to the webinar this morning, and thank you for joining us. Today we have Daniel White with Staff Penica presenting his webinar. If you have any questions, please input them in the question box, and Daniel will answer them at the conclusion of the webinar. At this time, I'm going to let Daniel take over, and I hope everybody enjoys. All right, thank you, Crystal. Uh, good morning. Uh, so this is, uh, my name is Daniel White. I'm the uh, Managing Director for SAF North America. Uh, for SAF Technica, uh, we are a, um, a, a manufacturer of licensed and unlicensed microwave radio transmission equipment along with uh, a brand new exciting uh, product line of uh, spectrum analyzers. So today I'd like to just kind of go over briefly who our company is, what we are, um, also touch on some of our, uh, some of our newer microwave solutions, uh, also our spectrum analyzer portfolio, and, uh, and then also provides some roadmap updates, some of the things you can expect to see out of SAF in the next uh, 30 to 60 days. Um, so with that, once again, I'd like to thank Microcom for having me today, and we'll go ahead and get started. So, I'm sure it come transitions there. Okay, so, um, so yeah, my first slide is just about SAF Technica JSC. So if you're not familiar with SAF Technica, uh, we were founded in 1999 as a corporation. Um, but we've actually been building radios since 1995. Um, that's when, uh, then our original first radios uh, were built in uh, in Riga, Latvia. That's where our uh, our headquarters, uh, our full cycle manufacturing, technical support, um, everything's in Riga, Latvia. And our uh, VP of Engineering, Dizis, built the uh, the first SAF radios in 1995 for the uh, the local telephone company, uh, and then uh, Latvia Mobile Telecom also started purchasing very early on. Um, in 1999, what happened is SAF Technica Incorporated and merged with another company um, to, uh, to create the company that we have today. So one of the keys about SAF Technica is that we do full cycle production. And what that means is that uh, we literally take the radio from the, the PCB layer or the, uh, the circuit board layer, and we, uh, we build it from, from there up. Uh, we actually, if you were to come to our factory, you would see the, uh, the pick and place machines where we put all the components on the boards. Um, and really what that allows us to do is to uh, um, really kind of expand on our slogan, which is customized microwave solutions. So um, it allows us to kind of do our own thing when it comes to research and development, product development, um, and, and also to be able to customize and build new unique things um, when we feel like there's a need for it. Uh, we, were, were, we were one of the pioneers of all outdoor radio systems uh, for licensed backhaul back in 2002. We built one of the first ones called CFM. Um, we are a publicly traded company, which, uh, which certainly separates us from, uh, from a number of manufacturers out there. Um, we are profitable, um, and you can see all of our financials on our website. So, as I said, everything's done in Riga, Latvia, as far as manufacturing goes. But, uh, for North America, our North America, head, North America headquarters, uh, both for inventory and sales, is in Denver, Colorado. Um, we have a number of sales managers across the United States uh, for you to work with, uh, and so we, we do all that support from Denver. So um, probably said the, the, the two big things that are on this slide beyond what I've said is that um, we are uh, offering or we probably have one of the best warranties in the industry on our, our licensed microwave radio systems. We have a five-year warranty on the CFIP Lumina system and all of our versions of Integra, which we'll talk about later, both platforms. Um, so it's a five-year standard manufacturer warranty um, that we offer on those platforms. Uh, most manufacturers offer a one-year. Uh, one or two manufacturers offer a two-year. So, uh, five years is pretty exceptional, but it, it's, it's all about the quality of our products, which I'll get into in the next slide. Um, and so the other big key on, uh, on this slide is that we don't do software keys or feature keys on our all outdoor radios. Why is this important? Um, a lot of manufacturers will try to entice you with a low price or um, you know, some sort of offering, but they don't include all the keys that you need. So they'll, they'll sell, you know, they'll, they'll give you an attractive price with a 10 meg license key or a 50 meg license key, um, but they'll sell you all the goods, right? They'll sell you it's a 400 meg radio that does adaptive modulation, but they won't sell you the key for adaptive modulation. Or they'll say it does header compression, uh, but that's an additional key. So uh, SAF Technica for our, our all outdoor radios, we don't do um, feature keys or software keys. 
if I tell you the radio can do it, well, the radio will do it when you have it in your hands. Um, so beyond that, uh, we have a global presence. We're actually closer to 140 countries deployed worldwide now, and over 100,000 uh, radio terminals have been delivered to customers. So um, one of the things that SAF Technica, I just, sorry, I missed, uh, missed a slide there. Uh, one of the things that SAF Technica has not been good about talking about, we're, uh, we're just now starting to release some information on, is our performance guarantee. Now this is something that we've always had. Uh, we've always um, had this performance guarantee in our platform, but it was something that we never really talked about. Um, so you know, there's some keys on this slide we definitely want to make sure everyone is aware of. Um, the first one being that SAF Technica, you know, when we sell you a radio, it's 100% made by SAF Technica. Um, these are our systems. We do the R&D. We write the code, um, and we build them in our factory in Riga, Latvia. Um, the other really important thing that we do that most manufacturers do not is uh, every SAF microwave radio system that we build, um, and this also includes our spectrum analyzers, uh, pass full cycle environmental testing. Um, through the entire temperature range uh, of the product. Uh, they're in the chamber for about six hours. They cycle through the temperatures twice. Um, and what this does is it simulates one year of the radio being out in the field. Now, why is that important? Uh, it virtually eliminates out-of-box failures. So by doing all this environmental testing um, prior to shipping you the radio, uh, you're, you know, I can't guarantee that there's never going to be an out-of-box failure but we will catch 99% of out-of-box failures through this environmental testing. So uh, our quality of the product that we ship is very important to us, and that's why we have that five-year warranty. Um, and this is one of the ways that we can back up the quality of our product is, uh, is doing this extensive testing prior to shipment. Um, also, one of the, the, the important things to ask any manufacturer when you look at their specification sheet or their data sheets is are they giving you guaranteed specifications? Are they giving you best case specifications? Are they giving you average specifications? Uh, you'll find the uh, most manufacturers will give you average specifications or typical specifications on their data sheets. Um, SAF takes a different approach. Uh, we only give guaranteed specifications, meaning that every terminal we ship meets these specifications. It's either this specification or better. So um, that would be things like the receiver thresholds of the radios, the maximum transmit output power of the radios, payload capacity, power consumption. Uh, all these things are tested while they're going through the environmental chamber. Um, and if they don't meet these specifications, we don't ship it. So a lot of manufacturers can't provide you with guaranteed specifications because they don't test every radio they ship. So unless they do that type of testing, there's no way to guarantee the specifications on the data sheet. So what that means is that the, the product that you get from SAF, um, you can feel confident will meet the, the, the specifications on that data sheet. We also have quality 24-hour technical support. We only have tier three engineers. So anytime you talk to our tech support, work with our tech support, you're getting a tier three engineer. You're not gonna get that guy that says reboot the radio and have you check the crimp or you know, the crimp on your, uh, your, your ethernet cable. Um, they're going to be quality engineers that, that definitely are going to understand where you're at in the process and be able to jump immediately in. We also provide um, uh, uh, professional link analysis by er for every link that we sell if we were provided GPS coordinates. So we can give you detailed availability characteristics of that path and, uh, and let you know how we expect our equipment to perform. Uh, and the other important thing is that the short lead times. Uh, SAF Technica maintains over a million dollars of inventory in our warehouse in Denver, Colorado. Uh, we're actually looking to expand to a much larger warehouse um, where we're expecting to grow that inventory uh, potentially up to $2 million of inventory. Um, that's also a testament to the growth we've had over the last uh, two years. Uh, the last fiscal year, last calendar year, I'm sorry, we, uh, we grew 45%. Um, we're on track to do that again this year. Uh, so definitely we maintain a lot of equipment so that it's in stock ready to ship when you're ready to order. Um, and, and that's why we have such a large warehouse to do that. So uh, from there I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick product overview. Um, this one slide here uh, encompasses 
uh, pretty much everything that we have today, all of our product lines, along with data rates, frequency availabilities, and whatnot. Um, I recommend you go to our website to review this in detail. I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, uh, but what's important to note is that SAF Technica manufactures radios for every license frequency worldwide from 4 gigahertz all the way up to 42 gigahertz. So uh, that's where we focus, um, and, and that's where the bulk of our product is. Um, and of course, there's different data rates, different feature sets for each radio that's listed on here. Um, the next slide uh, is our CFIP Lumina radio. Now, our CFIP Lumina radio has been kind of our uh, flagship product for the last couple of years. It's an all outdoor radio. Um, can be powered via PoE or direct DC power to the radio head. Uh, has uh, fiber connections on it or Ethernet connections on it. Um, and it's available to send all the license frequency bands, both for the United States and for Canada. Um, worldwide, it's available for almost every frequency band available. Um, it does support a full true 366 megabit full duplex capacity. Uh, that is a layer two um, RFC 2544 testing capacity. So um, that's the actual data rate you can expect on the radio. That's not a uh, over-the-air rate. That's not a uh, best case rate. Um, every single radio we manufacture uh, will do that. Um, we also support channel sizes from uh, uh, actually all the way down to 14 megahertz with this platform up to 56. Um, we've listed the typical FCC channel sizes here, uh, but we do support all the way down to 14 megahertz and uh, modulations from 4 qualm to 256 qualm. So this is a very pretty standard radio. Uh, so we've been shipping it for a couple years now. Um, it's definitely been the flagship product for us and we've been very successful with it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and move on because we've definitely got some brand new radio platforms to talk about. Um, but this is still probably uh, one of the main products that we sell today and also comes with that five-year standard warranty. So on the next slide, go ahead and get to it. It's our, uh, it's our Free Mile 24 gigahertz product. Um, this is also another product that we've been shipping for a couple years. Uh, it is a 100 megabit full duplex, 24 gigahertz unlicensed radio. Um, what's great about this platform is that it uses only a 30 megahertz wide channel or a 10 megahertz wide channel to deliver this capacity. Um, so there's, uh, there are tower sites that we have with this platform that have up to 12 on them um, and there could be a lot more links. So very high frequency reuse, uh, great receiver th threshold and availability. So um, when compared to some of the other 24 gigahertz products out there on the, in the marketplace, uh, this one range-wise, especially when you consider the, the EIRP limits um, regulated by the FCC, um, this product does have some of the best uh, range characteristics for this frequency band. And it's also got one of the lowest power consumption um, characteristics of, uh, of any 24 gigahertz radio um, at 15 watts. So uh, it's still a great product. Uh, we maintain lots of inventory of this radio. Um, we typically sell 5 to 10 links a week of this product, so it's, uh, it's still a very active selling product for our, for our customers, um, and it's been a great alternative to some of the other 24 gigahertz systems out there. So uh, it's definitely something to keep in mind. The next slide is going to go into our Integra um, product, which is our next generation radio. And so Integra I'll spend a little bit more time on. Um, Integra uh, supports up to 10,000 24 qualm modulation. That's going to give you a full duplex capacity of 474 megabit full duplex, you know, 1 plus 0 configuration, or nine, about 950 megabit in a 2 plus 0 configuration. Um, it also supports layer 2, layer 3 header compression. Um, so depending on the uh, packet size uh, type uh, or, or, or size that you're, you're transporting over the link, on average, you're going to see a 10% improvement. So you can easily get beyond one gigabit with this platform um, using header compression in a real-world network. Um, maximum channel size is 60 megahertz. Uh, it's available in frequencies of, uh, for the United States, it's available in 18 gig and 23 gig. Uh, those are on the shelf ready to ship today. Uh, 24 gig unlicensed is going through FCC certification as we speak. So we hope that will be available in September. 
Uh, 38 gigahertz was recently released about a month ago, and uh, we'll be receiving our first uh, stock shipment to uh, our Denver warehouse within the next week. Um, and then if any of you are joining us from Canada, uh, this product is also available in 15 gigahertz. Um, maximum channel, or so max modulation once again is 1024 qualm. Um, it is a negative 48 volt uh, DC uh, PoE injected radio that is 8023AT compliant. Um, we have not done compliance testing with a lot of, manuf uh, lot of manufacturers PoE injectors yet, um, but we also make a great PoE injector for this platform, which is, is also talked a lot about a little bit on the next slide. Um, one of the also great things about this platform is the power consumption. Power consumption is 20 watts. So uh, for everything except the 15 gigahertz radio, uh, the, uh, that one can creep up to 35 watts um, at full load and full transmit output power. Um, but the average consumption is 20 watts on this radio. Um, now, the, of course, the great thing about Integra, um, you know, I could, I, I could spend a whole presentation on this. And we have done a presentation with Microcom. So I encourage you to go back to that presentation on their website and uh, on YouTube uh, to review it. Um, but of course, is the integrated design. It weighs 15 pounds um, with the radio and the antenna, and it's all one piece. It's, uh, it's got a mount that's centered to the, the mast, which is great. Uh, and, it's, and it supports a number of carrier ethernet features. So uh, there's a lot here. We've been shipping this product for uh, over six months now. Uh, we've received great feedback on it. And there's, uh, we're definitely doing a lot in the firmware still, a lot of updates coming. So. Uh, uh, definitely, it's, a, it's something to keep your eyes on. Um, in fact, the, the latest update is now on this next slide here. Uh, I want to talk about which is Integra S. Um, Integra by itself has uh, got the integrated antenna options of one foot and two foot. They're high performance antennas. Um, as you can see below in that bottom picture is our new Integra S radio. This is a slit fit radio. So now um, we have the capability to go to much larger antennas in those same frequency bands and same performance characteristics. So we go from uh, being limited only one foot and two foot to now uh, we've already got installations of uh, six foot, uh, 18 gigahertz antennas with these radios. Um, uh, we've, we've seen a lot of four foot installations as well. So uh, definitely if you're trying to get that extra range, extra rain availability, um, the slit fit radio now allows you to get that, get the same performance but with much larger antennas. Um, from a port configuration standpoint, uh, so it's got the integrated PoE uh, in the radio. It uh, also has dual SFP cages, so you can add your own fiber interfaces. Um, when you do the installation, you can add them later. Um, both multi-mode, single mode is supported. Uh, and a number of SFP manufacturers supported. Um, of course, we provide our own that are outdoor rated as well. Uh, there's a service port on the radio that provides both audio and voltmeter alignment um, while you're doing it. And, uh, and a uh, LED light is also can be used for, um, for alignment as well, uh, along with just verifying that the radio um, is powered up. And there's a USB port, USB B port for a serial interface. So our Lumina radios and our CFIP series radios before, uh, th those radios used a dual BNC connector. Uh, we, we moved to a USB port because uh, that's becoming, of course, very common in the industry. So uh, uh, that's a cable that hopefully a lot of people will have in their bags with them. Um, one of the other new things to talk about is our brand new PoE injector. Um, that's the, this partner with the i0 ATP i22. Uh, it was specifically designed with Integra in mind, but um, can be used also with our CFIP Lumina radios. Uh, probably one of the best features is that it has a 24 volt to 6 to 48 volt DC to DC converter. So um, if you've got a tower site that's fed with 24 volt DC, you've got a 24 volt DC uh, battery bank, um, you can now put this, this PoE injector in and feed this 48 volt radio. Um, we know there's a lot of issues now with a lot of vendors moving to 48 volt for a lot of different um, both point to multi point and point to point radios and a lot of sites that are 24 volt out there. Uh, this radio can drop in with this PoE injector um, into a 24 volt DC site. 
It is also IEEE 802.3AF-AT and PoE++ compatible. So if you're looking for a great PoE injector for, for other uses, uh, it is compatible with those standards. Um, it could be used for a number of other applications. Uh, one of the other highlights, of course, is that it's got a 300 volt integrated search suppression. Um, and of course, we have a complete data sheet on this product if you're looking for all the, the specifications on the search suppression, um, the, the power output, things like that. Uh, they're all available on our website at uh, saftechnica.com. So with that, I will briefly speak about our uh, Spectrum Compact product. Um, and then provide a very, you know, kind of quick overview about where we're going. Um, so Spectrum Compact is a spectrum analyzer that was designed by field engineers. Uh, there's a number of tower climbers in the industry. I actually started in the industry as a, a tower climber. Uh, so there's a number of tower climbers in our company besides me. Um, and there, it's kind of a long story about how this product was developed. Um, uh, but the great thing here is also the use cases are all on YouTube. So we've, we've got about 10 different videos on our channel, our YouTube channel, about this product. Um, so I'm not going to touch on everything today, but I just definitely want to make you aware that we do have it. Um, and it is a vendor neutral product for, uh, uh, for all licensed microwave and unlicensed microwave systems out there. Um, but basically it was designed to be easy to use on a tower with gloves on, um, with minimal training. Um, and it's, a, it's got a great price point um, with, uh, with MSRP pricing starting at $3,000 per unit. So uh, what is it? It's a spectrum analyzer for 6 to 40 gigahertz today. Uh, I'll talk about what's pl uh, planned in a minute. Um, designed for outdoor use, uh, there's lanyards, thumb screws, uh, really, every aspect of this system uh, was designed for the thought of being uh, 300 feet up on a tower and needing to use this tool. Um, most of the spectrum analyzer competition, especially in the licensed microwave space, uh, the analyzers weigh 13 pounds. Uh, they're you know, the size of a, of a laptop. Um, this is literally handheld, as you saw in the picture before, uh, weighs 10 ounces. So it's, uh, it's very lightweight, easy to use. Um, and it's also very, uh, very simple to configure. Um, you know, we designed the layout to be very intuitive, um, and it's really I see it as a must-have tool for a uh, for any microwave engineer from the installation phase, troubleshooting phase, uh, gathering site data, etc. So there's a lot of webinars on our channel that we can go that go through each um, use case for this individually. Um, I certainly just don't have the time today to go through every one with you, um, but it's literally a tool that can be used at every phase of, uh, of a microwave installation from the uh, configuration on the bench all the way to troubleshooting the unit years, uh, years down the road. Um, so some of the, so the important features and benefits is the ultra compact form factor literally fits in your hand. Um, if you've got your average cell phone, um, it's about that size, just a little bit thicker. Um, it does have le industry leading sensitivity of negative 105 dBm. Uh, so it's going to be much better than say a spectrum analyzer built into a radio uh, that will typically top out about neg 85. Uh, it's got standalone functionality, so uh, you don't require anything else on site to use it except the device itself, some waveguide flanges, everything that's included in the kit. Um, a resistive LCD touchscreen. Why that's important instead of a capacitive touchscreen? Um, resistive LCD touchscreens allow you to use them with your gloves on and have great uh, sun glare characteristics. So uh, even in direct sunlight, uh, it's very easy to use. Once again, I refer you to our YouTube videos. There's um, there's a YouTube video of me actually using the device on our rooftop in uh, uh, at the factory. Uh, it was filmed about six months ago. Um, and you can see even in the video, it's very easy to see even in direct sunlight. Um, that next bullet point, compatible with different antenna systems, literally this can be used with any manufacturer's radios, uh, radio or antenna system. Um, it is a vendor neutral product. It is a spectrum analyzer. Um, of course, we hope you use it with SAF Technica radios, but um, Realistically, people have networks that are a hodgepodge of equipment, and you can use it with any manufacturer's equipment. 
Um, in fact, we have a number of customers that have bought this that are, say, integrators for like AT&T that don't use our radios at all. They're installing Ericsson radios, Aviat radios, Alcatel Lucent radios, um, and it's still a great tool for them. Uh, last but not least is that it includes free PC software. It's actually saved on the device or available on our, our website. Um, gives you a bunch of functionality to both use it on the bench, uh, create reports, uh, analyze the, uh, anything that you save, any data you save in the field to the device um, back when you're in the office. Um, Mac software is coming very shortly, so if you are a Mac user, uh, that software is on the way. Um, it's, it's currently under development. We hope to have it released soon. Uh, but at the moment, it is for uh, Windows or PC only. Um, this next slide, as I said, there's a whole host of things this thing does. Um, I'm not going to touch most of this slide. I wanted it to be in the slide deck. It's also available from your, uh, from your Microcom rep. Uh, it's, it's been provided to them, so you can get the slide deck and look at this. Um, but since I, I know this is being recorded, I want you to also be able to go back and see all these features it has. Of course, we're, we're adding firmware every day. We're trying to add more and more features to this device. Um, so if you're seeing something missing, uh, definitely let us know. Um, more than willing to discuss it, see if we can add the functionality to the device. But um, for the field engineer, it has all the functionality that is typically required. And uh, the last slide here um, will show the frequency ranges. It's available in four different units. That's one of the ways we're able to make it, make it handheld, small dimensions, lightweight, um, is to divide this into four units. The average installer only needs two units. That's going to be the 6 gigahertz through 12 gigahertz and the 17 through 24 gig. That's going to cover all your licensed microwave bands available in the United States plus your 24 gig unlicensed frequency band. Um, so, uh, so with ease of use, so it's intuitive GUI, instant on-off, um, USB chargeable, resistive touchscreen, uh, up to four hours of continuous use uh, for the battery life. Um, so this is typically a device that you'll turn on for five minutes and turn off then. Um, it, uh, it, in, in the field, we'll actually usually have weeks of, of battery life. Um, but it's also USB chargeable. So anything that you've got sitting around to charge your cell phone uh, can also be used to charge this device. Um, and, and the last point, is that it was designed by microwave field engineers for microwave field engineers. Um, so that's, uh, that's probably the most important part of this product. Um, it's, it's really designed for you as the installer out on the field um, as a device that you can use and that you can afford. So there's uh, a couple screenshots of this. Of course, it's all available on our website if you want to see pictures of what this all looks like on our website, um, giving you different examples of, of how things are, how it works. I also encourage you to go to our website because there is a uh, emulator for this product on our website uh, where you can actually play with the device as if it was in your hands. You can touch all, you can press all the buttons, you can configure it however you want. All of these demo modes are going to be in there, so you can uh, use it to see how it actually work out in the field. Um, so definitely visit our website on this product, and the emulator will, uh, will speak volumes to it. But uh, these are some screenshots of what the average install might look like, or use in the field might look like. So with that, um, I'm going to give you a little roadmap discussion, uh, not stuff that I don't necessarily have in slides, but new products that are coming. Um, SAF Technica is a manufacturer. We don't talk about new products until they're ready to launch. So uh, that means they're actually in the production queue. Um, we're building them. Uh, so we don't, we're, we're not a company that does a product announcement and then you wait six or nine months before it actually ships. So um, right now, as I said, we've got Integra, uh, Integra S. Those are both shipping. Uh, the 24 gig unlicensed is in, main, is in production. Uh, we're just waiting on FCC and Industry Canada approval, which we hope to have next month. Uh, on the Spectrum Compact front, uh, this has probably been the most requested thing uh, for us. Uh, 2 through 8 gigahertz is, uh, is coming very shortly. Uh, actually, the beta units are in production uh, as we speak, and uh, we should start shipping that unit probably. We'll probably announce it at CTIA, uh, which is early September. September, which is in about a month from now, and uh, production units will be available by the end of September. 
The other really cool tool that's coming for Spectrum Analyzer platform is what we're calling the SG Compact. That's our signal generator. Uh, it will be available in all the same frequency ranges. And, uh, and what that will be useful for is, uh, say, testing waveguide attenuation losses uh, for antenna alignment primarily. Um, but we'll also have a really great signal generator coming out for the microwave frequency bands. Um, same form factor, same pricing as uh, Spectrum Compact units. Uh, that, that product actually is in production. We have shipped our first units. Um, but we plan once again to announce that product at CTIA in the, uh, the next few weeks. So um, if you're interested in the signal generator, uh, interested in purchasing one, please get with your Microcom sales rep and uh, we can give you the pricing. Um, I don't have stock of that product yet, but stock is coming shortly. Uh, but we do also stock our spectrum analyzers in, uh, in our warehouse in Denver, Colorado. So uh, that's definitely something to, uh, um, that if you need quickly, uh, you, have, you need to troubleshoot something, you have an urgent request, uh, those devices are available ready to ship. Um, Moving a little bit further out on our roadmap, um, stuff that I don't have data sheets on, pictures on, product specifications on. Uh, so once again, we don't talk about it till it's ready. Um, and hopefully this will be something we'll be announcing in October at Wispa Palooza, is uh, Integra in 11 and 6 gigahertz. Uh, those products are, uh, I would call in the alpha phase right now. So the very first production runs where uh, we're testing out the PCBs, we're, uh, we're finalizing the case design, all that type of stuff is going on right now as we speak. Uh, I'll have all the same software features as the Integra platform we're shipping today. Uh, we'll be in a different case because of the, uh, the higher transmit output power. Um, we need to dissipate a little bit more heat, so it's got a little bit different design. Um, but we'll have all the SFP cages, we'll still be PoE. Um, It'll still be a 48 volt radio. So we'll, we'll have a lot more specifications uh, probably in October. So we'll announce that product with uh, production units uh, are planning to ship at the end of November. Um, we'll be actually be in people's hands. So we'll start production uh, sometime in October. So look for Wispapalooza for the actual announcement of that product. And of course, we'll come back to Microcom with, uh, with a presentation once, uh, once the product's available. Um, so with that, uh, that's all I have today. Uh, you know, I, I once again want to thank Microcom for uh, for their time. I want to thank everybody on the on the webinar for their time. And uh, Crystal, I'm open to any questions that anybody might have. All right, thank you, Daniel. Let me get the question. Oh, lovely question. First question: Is there Available extended warranties or additional warranty add-ons we can take advantage of with the item. Uh, so if you're talking about our radio systems, uh, said so the the Lumina Integra come with a five-year standard warranty. Uh, we don't typically sell extended warranties beyond five years, but if there's a, a specific case for that, um, we can certainly discuss it. Uh, we do provide next day replacement warranty options on all of our radio systems and uh, the capability to extend the warranty on uh, all of our radio systems to five years. Uh, on Spectrum Compact and Signal Generator, uh, currently the warranty is one year on that platform. Um, we do not have extended warranties in the price list uh, at this time, primarily because nobody's asked for it. Uh, but it is something actually I hope to, uh, to release shortly. We'll be in extended warranty options for that platform. Uh, the other thing to know is that if you are a, a SAF Technica customer um, today, uh, we did launch a promotion on our NDR warranty program. Um, that is a, a service we offer. It started offering about a year ago. Um, so we now have an amnesty uh, program that we launched, a promotion we launched, so that if um, you didn't buy an NDR service when you bought your product, one, two, three years ago, while well, it was still under manufacturer warranty. Uh, that's a service you can now add now. Just go ahead and call your Microcom uh, sales rep and uh, we can get that going for you. All right, great. Let's get on to the next one. Um, can you send me 
information on the Spectrum contract, any marketing material and information. Uh, it's one of my sales guys. Uh, they think it'll be beneficial. I well, so uh, everything that we're shipping today, the six through forty uh, on the Spectrum Compact, so everything's available on our website uh, from a marketing standpoint. The leaflets, data sheets, uh, uh, all the pictures. I mean, every everything you need is available on our website. Um, Crystal, of course, you've got this presentation as well. Um, yeah. The signal generator and the data sheet for the two through eight gigahertz Spectrum Compact that I spoke about. They'll cover all the unlicensed frequency bands. Um, that will be, uh, that leaflet or that, that data sheet will be made available when we an announce the product or launch the product um, at CTIA. So um, it's actually not done yet, um, so I can't provide it to you today. And the, the signal generator uh, leaflet is uh, um, still a work in progress. So if, uh, if you do have a need for that, I can send you a beta version offline. Um, with the with the specifications of it, but it's uh, it's still a little rough around the edges. So it's uh, um, so marketing is typically one of the last things we do um, before we launch a product, uh, and we don't you typically make them until the product is ready to be announced. So um, all the current products that are on our website, um, you know, you can download everything from there. And so the emulator is also there. That's also something you can download to your PC to use offline if, uh, if you want to try it out offline while you're on an airplane or something. Um, that emulator is there. So if there's anything else you need, um, my email address, of course, is there. Feel free to contact me as well. All right. Next question. Does the compact kit... 17-24 gigahertz work only for staff radios or for other brands too? Uh, all the spectrum analyzers, regardless of frequency range, work for, uh, for every uh, licensed microwave platform or transmitter out there. Um, I said it, it, it was developed as a, a vendor agnostic platform. Um, I said probably our biggest customers have been the cellular integrators that are using them with, uh, for like AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile. Uh, and a lot of those radios are Ericsson, Huawei, um, Saragon, uh, Alcatel. I think I mentioned Alcatel Lucent already. Uh, so I mean, there, there's a whole host of them. Um, but it is a vendor agnostic product. So even if you don't have SAF microwave radios in your network, um, the product is still a very useful tool to have. Okay, I think that wraps up all the questions. Great. Well, yep. um, if there's any other questions, I guess definitely let your microcom rep uh, know, um, or, or always feel free to reach out to me as well. I try to be as available as possible, but uh, I, there, there's certainly a great micro, microcom sales team uh, the, with deep knowledge of our products. So it's certainly, uh, they're, they're a great point of contact for you. All right. Thank you, everybody, for attending the webinar. Thank you, Daniel. You did a great job as always. If you Thank have you, any Crystal. additional questions, um, in addition to contacting Daniel, you can contact us at sales at microcomtech.com, M-I-C-R-O-C-O-M-T-E-C.com. Or if you wish to view any of the products mentioned here today, please visit us at www.microcom.us or contact your salesperson. As Daniel said, this webinar will also be posted, is being recorded and will be posted on our Microcom Technology YouTube channel for later review. I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you.